What is up gamers, it's Electrified DBD back with another video and today I'm just going to go over my picks right here. Masters Rajevic starts at 11 Eastern tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe and like so that you can follow all the action. I should be keeping up to date with it. If not making videos, it'll be on Twitter, so make sure to follow me there. Link is in the description. So yeah, let's get into my picks. First game tomorrow is Fnatic vs. Kirby Sports. They're both really good teams. I think I had to give the edge to Crew just because their team coordination is really good, and I think that they're a really strong team that wasn't really stopped in Latin America at all. So that's why I'm picking Crew. Um, Fnatic is a great team, and they are the favorites in this game, but I think Crew can definitely pull out this win. Uh, the next game, version 1 versus Crazy Raccoon. It's a close game. Definitely potential for an upset from Crazy Raccoon, especially with the absence of Whippy and version 1 playing with Yampies. Or Yammies, sorry. Yampies, I'm not a liquid. Um, but I still think that Crazy Raccoon doesn't play as a team as much and relies more on individual skill. So I'm going to have to give that one to version 1. Moving up here, Sentinels versus Crew. Sentinels is the favorite here. I mean, you can see I picked him to win. I'm a Sentinels fan. I've been a Sentinels fan since... The, they were announced as a team, and I think they're a great team, especially with the acquisition of 10s. They worked really well together, and I think that they are a very strong team that's just going to continue to roll through the competition in Iceland. And then we have Vikings versus X10 Esports. I think Vikings as a whole, the Brazilian scene is a little just kind of like they play it like CS. They don't really use abilities and combinations as much. And I think that X10 does that more. I think they're more of a coordinated team. I also think that Potifan is a better star player than Stacy. So if we're just putting those two star players up against each other, I think Potifan outmatches Stacy and they take that game. Then moving on, Sharks versus Newturn. This is a no brainer for me. Newturn beat Vision Strikers, which for a lot of people was the best team in the world. We expected them to be going here. Uh, they have LAN experience, they're a good team, Sharks don't really play together, they rely on duelists again like the Brazilian teams, and I just don't think it's as developed of a scene yet. Brazilian teams are good in most FPSs, but I don't know that they're necessarily as good in Valorant, that's just my opinion. Um, so I'm picking new turn any day of the week, and I'll be very shocked if Sharks wins this game. Next we have Liquid versus version 1. Again, kind of a no-brainer in my mind. Earlier this week, I might have picked V1 to win this, maybe not, but if they had Whippy, but since they have Yammies, um, I don't think they're going to be able to beat Liquid. Liquid's just a really incredibly strong team, and I think it's going to be hard for any team to beat them who faces them, and so that's why I have them beating version 1. Their slow comp is just going to, version 1's going to hit a wall facing that slow comp, so I think it's going to be really difficult for them to handle. Moving on to the lower bracket here, we have Vikings versus Crazy Raccoon. I think Vikings takes this game just because Crazy Raccoon more relies on individual skills, so does the Brazilians. I think it's a toss-up, but I think I was a little bit underestimating Vikings when I made my video on um, ranking them. So I think that I think that Vikings are actually a good team. And so I'm picking them over Crazy Raccoon here. Moving down here, Fnatic versus Sharks. Again, I've been over all these teams, so I'm just going to. I've been over why I think they win. I think Fnatic wins this game with ease because they are, you know, they're just a better team. I think it's going to be really difficult for um, Sharks to win this because they're just going to hit a wall against the slow comp that Fnatic runs. Up here, Sentinels versus X10 Esports. Um, Sentinels wins this any day of the week. I really like X10. I think they're underrated as hell, but Sentinels is definitely a much better team. They're more coordinated. They have more experience. There's no doubt in my mind that Sentinels win this game. Um, although I wouldn't be upset if I, there was an upset. Um, but I do think Sentinels wins this with ease. Moving on. New turn versus Liquid. Liquid wins this with ease in my mind again. Liquid's a much stronger team. I don't think New Term is really that strong. I think their win against Vision Strikers was a fluke. I think Vision Strikers is the better team by a long shot. And I don't think New Turn plays as a team as well as Liquid does. 
and so I think Liquid's going to stop them. Moving on to the lower bracket, Crew Esports versus Vikings. Vikings is a really aggressive team. Crew Esports plays more slow. They're going to be able to decimate Vikings, in my opinion. I just think they're a much better team in general, so Crew wins that one. Fnatic versus version 1. Broke my heart to pick an EU team over NA, but Fnatic is a better team, especially without Whippy and having Yammies in that lineup. So I'm going to have to go with Fnatic here, just because... You know, I feel like V1 again is going to hit a wall like facing Liquid with all the EU teams. I think that's going to be really difficult for uh, version 1 to play against the slow comps that the EU teams have. So I think they're going to fall in that round. Moving up to the upper bracket, Sentinels versus Liquid. This is what a lot of people think the finals is going to be. And I think most people's brackets have Sentinels versus Liquid right here. Only reason I have Liquid this far is because I think facing version 1 and new turn are relatively weaker teams in the grand scheme of things, but they're still a great team in their own right, and I think Sentinels are going to beat them. I think that they just play better together, and I think that Liquid relies a lot on their Star Fraggers, and Sentinels, is they're all Star Fraggers. So, like, if Scream and Gampy aren't on that day, they have no chance of beating Sentinels. If they are, maybe they do, but Sentinels is going to know this, and they'll probably target Scream and Yampy to try and combat this. Moving down here, Crew versus New Turn again. I think you guys know. I feel very strong that Crew is a very, very good team. Uh, you know my feelings on New Turn. I don't think they're as good of a team. I thought it was a fluke that they beat Vision Strikers, and so I definitely think Crew falls too new turn right here um fanatic versus x10 again broke my heart i love x10 however i don't think they're as developed as a team yet i think i underestimated fanatic in the other video as well and i think fanatic wins this just because x10 i don't think they're as developed if potiphon is really on they could win that game and i think that i would love to see it you know, if my picks are wrong, then my picks are wrong. I'd love to see them win. However, I don't think it's going to happen. And so, yeah, I think that uh, Fnatic wins that game. Moving on, next, Crew Esports versus Fnatic. I think Crew does take this rematch again. Uh, I, again, I stated my reasons before. They're the same reasons. I think Crew's a better team. I think they'll play better. I think it'll be a really close game. Liquid versus Crew. I think Crew wins this. Um... I think that that's a really hard because these teams both play really similar. Same with Fnatic and Crew, so it, it, it's a really hard thing to decide. But I do think Crew can pull this one out, and maybe I just want them to. Maybe I'm just rooting for the underdogs here, but I do think that they definitely have a shot at the upset here. And then the rematch: Sentinels versus Crew. Sentinels again wins this no-brainer in my mind. Uh, I, I stated my reasons earlier. So, yeah, Sentinels is just a better, more developed team. Their aggression will be hard for a crew to defeat. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to check out my other videos. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. Share this. And make sure to watch Masters Rage of it. It's going to be a blast. I'm super excited for it. And, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated as much as I can. Have a great day, and thank you guys so much for watching.